Let's talk about module systems to organize code. In the Node.js ecosystem, there is CommonJS, which is very popular and enabled developers to share their code for other apps and import code from libraries into their apps. This was being done by using the require statement to import code in the consumer side or using the exports object to export your code and make it available to others. Unfortunately, the browser world was left a bit behind. So another module system got developed, which was called require.js. Require.js uses the define syntax to define code that you want to export, and you can then require it in other parts of an application. So we had at least two systems working in parallel, like there was common.js for the Node.js world and require.js for browsers. And of course, many more systems have been developed. And then something happened that often happens. The ECMA International Group jumped in and said, hey, let's standardize away and let's find something that works for both worlds. With ECMA 262, we finally got ECMAScript modules. That's the specification that can be used in browsers and also in modern Node.js applications. So if you have Node.js 18, then that's enabled. You can make use of it. If you have older versions of Node.js, then you need some experimental feature flex to enable it. But that being said, also Node.js jumped on the ECMAScript module train. This is very cool because we have now one way for all of them. Yeah, so one module system to rule them all. And what you have to do is maybe upgrade also your packages to make use of this new ES module syntax. Originally, Node.js implemented the CommonJS module syntax, but there is now also support for ECMAScript modules. That's why I would like to show you how to migrate from the standard CommonJS module syntax to the new ES module syntax. So far, we've been using the CommonJS module system, which is why we had that defined in our compiler options. And we exposed our add and our subtract function through an export statement. When compiling the code, TypeScript will then create JavaScript code for us that uses the CommonJS module syntax. We can see that in the disk directory, if we have a look at the mass.js file, then we can see that the exports assignment is being used and that we then have also on the import side the possibility to use the require function to require then functionality from that module. To briefly validate that the code is working, let's see if add and subtract do what they are supposed to do. So indeed, yeah, the number will go up and if we subtract, the number will go down. Now I want to do the switch to the ES module syntax. So we will set our module system to ES next and then we will see that the compiled output will be different. So if I start the compiler, the resulting JavaScript will look almost like our initial TypeScript code because it uses now the new ES module syntax. But it also means that we have to adjust our imports because they are still relying on CommonJS syntax. Saying that, our legacy code will actually break now because it can't make use of an ES module. We will get the syntax error that the export token is unknown to this legacy code. To solve that, we have to upgrade the package that is using our legacy code. So in our main package JSON, we need to change our type to module because the default is CommonJS. So I can also write CommonJS in here, or I can just leave it out as it is the default, but we are now switching to the ES module syntax. So let's put in a type and see what happens. Well, we still have the problem that the require is not defined with ES modules. So we have to also adjust the actual code. Luckily, the reference error already tells us what to do because we need to use import instead in the code that is importing the ES module. Now that we are changing the import and that we have also compiled everything to ES next and put the type of module into the package JSON, it runs just fine because Node.js will think now, yeah, we are fully ESM compatible. So that's with Node version 18, by the way, and TypeScript version 4.9.4. 